Good day. My name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views, and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos. If so, please subscribe. Good day, all. How you all going? Now, today is going to be an unboxing, eventually, of the stealth or Titan stealth chair. That's what's written on the box. Um, we'll have a look at it later. But I wanted to first of all show you my gaming um, chair progression would be the way to say it. Um, in the background, you'll probably see me flying to Shinrata to get two more SRVs. Um, using the little pop-up green screen I'm using at the moment. Now, this is the first chair that I had. Now, I've had one previous before that when I've um, first moved in here, but the, when the chair arms broke and eventually died on me. Nice seat, leans back nicely, but you need a pillow on it because it's very uncomfortable. That's the Amiga backrest. Well, they call it memory foam. So pick it up and have a look up. Just that there. That came. That doesn't come with the um, Titan series chairs. So this is my first chair, or second chair actually, the second generation you could say of this, of this chair. That cost me what twenty dollars from the garage sale. But as I said before, it's very uncomfortable. You're trying to sit for long distance, your bum gets sore. It's just very uncomfortable. I'll get to the next chair. around so I can see the chair. Now this chair it looks shiny but it's not worth it. Um, that chair I bought I think from um, Harvey Norman um, and it's supposed to be a gaming chair. It just when the arms came loose couldn't figure out how to get it back on I don't, just didn't want to get back on. They do lift up all the way, that's the only benefit from the whole thing. I think it's actually. Okay. But as you can see, it's just too flimsy, not enough bang for your buck type thing. So that was my next chair. That I bought from Harvey Norman, didn't like it, very uncomfortable. This one here. Ooh. This chair, same thing. Um, it's an office chair. Now, I found sitting up higher, which actually I ended up breaking the other one, it just fell apart eventually because of old age, I think. It cost me, what, I think 10 or 20 bucks. Um, that one there was a good one when playing Elite. But it's noisy, it squeaked, it squeaked, yeah, you name it, it did it. It's like, so the first one you saw, that's the one I was using at the moment. And this is one of the later ones I bought, which was quite good, but when you're trying to go live, trying to record live, and every, every, time, you, every time you moved, it just squeaked. It just wasn't worth it. Um, but it was fantastic playing Elite. Not very good playing the other games because you have to lean forward more. So, now, I'm going to stop this video and basically get the table and everything organized so I can actually set up the um, the box and we'll show you the unboxing of the Titan Stealth gaming chair. Well, it's got Titan Stealth written on the box. Hmm. Oh, we'll show you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Now, as you can see, it's a huge, huge ass box. Now, on the top, it's got written, your unboxing experience starts here, with arrows pointing to the line in the centre. On the side, 
Um, can't really see it. Let's see if we can lift the camera down a little bit so you can see it. You can see the name of the company and you can see, you can, um, see where, where they are. It just said Titan, Titan Stealth, that's what it says. So let's lift this box, this camera back up and we'll get to the unboxing of the Titan Stealth. That's a huge box. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see, we're going to open it up, let's have a look. Wow. It's got a caution on here, it just says, uh, caution, it's got a picture, and it's got a lever here, which is a back back set recline lever. It says, "Do not touch back seat, back set, or backrest." Oh, backrest though. Um, recline lever uh, while removing from box, and until back set is securely installed. Okay, so we don't touch anything like that. Then. Oh boy, it's huge. Ugh. First thing that comes in the big <laughs> big black thing. Congratulations, you are now owner of a brand new Scar Scar uh, Scar Lab chair. You are just a it's just a you are just steps away from your ultimate seating experience. Flip this sheet over and you will find a quick start guide to assembling your chair. Well, highly recommended checking out our assembly videos as well for even more detailed and visual um, instructions. <sighs> and we flip this over and it's upside down. I mean, this thing is huge. Pretty big. Pretty big. Uh -huh. That's right. No, no. Pretty basic. We start from there. It said do not touch that. It's best that we move every single thing out of the, of the box and we'll go from there. So we're pretty much just unboxing it. Um, might even give it a go trying to put it together. See how we go. A bag with a pillow. I think that's just a uh, headrest thing. I don't know why we need plastic for everything. I mean, we're just gonna throw it in, throw it in the bin or whatever. I guess goes over to there. Um, let's throw it down to start with. We'll have a look. Whole thing's 
definitely well packed in. Ah. Excuse me. heavy. Looks comfortable. Looks wide enough to hold me there. And we've got to tighten that now. Wow. That's heavier than some chairs I've actually had. That's scary. Oh, this foam stuff. Now, uh, We have the base for it. We get all this plastic stuff off. And of course all this plastic stuff is probably not recyclable, which is the only thing annoying about it. Ah, I'm gonna have to try to put all this together. So. I think that goes the other way, so the wheels get on top, yep. Um, now what do we got? Do not touch back set recline if I'm moving box box. That's what keeps on saying that. I have to admit it's well built. Now, oh. 
just trying to show you the seat. I'll have to show you a, a, a video. I want to assemble it eventually. It's huge. I mean, it's heavy, it's huge. I'm going to put it together on the floor. I probably won't be able to do it with the video because it's going to be me probably cursing a lot. But I've still got more stuff in the box. with better packaging, more environmental friendly packaging. Now this, okay, this must be the thing you don't touch. Um, I have a feeling this goes on top. Hmm, I don't see anything. Okay, I haven't got all the stuff here. I must go underneath the seat. Don't know how that goes onto there. I'm going to figure out all that. You've got to read it all and go through that. That's that. Last thing with that box is a box. We're in a box. Accessory box. Ah. I mean, God, even the box is bloody heavy. <laughs> I would have seen more recyclable materials in this thing, like cardboard or something like that. So, that's that done. I'll sort it all out tomorrow. So, uh, we'll have a look what's in the accessory box. of it. It looks like we've got the hydraulic piston sleeve, side covers, um, level, level lever handles and casket wells. And pretty much general care and keep. General care and leather care, which you can buy a leather thing for it. And you pretty much got that, just what they call it. Okay, after after care guide. Now, top back. A box within a box. We've got five caster wheels, and these were the protectors, the sleeve protectors. Thing we do, and. This is the second thing. Let's see if we've got nuts and screws. This is actually not bad packed. Um, compared to the other one, I'm not quite sure what these are yet, but we'll find out. We'll work it all out, we'll put it all together and we'll see how we go. Um, yeah. But, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try to assemble this because I'm going to need all this room to assemble it and honestly I'd like to assemble it on the table but it's going to be a bit heavy and I don't know how long it's going to take to assemble but that's the unboxing of the um, Titan stuff what I'll try to do is I'll assemble it and put it in front of the green screen you can have a quick look at the end of, the end of this video um, and then um, I'll basically play a little bit of a before I play Elite, run that in the background, and we'll see how we go comfort wise with it, and we'll go from there. I hope you like this little little um, journey down memory lane <clears throat> in some ways with all the um, gaming chairs I've had. 
Um, I do like the chair by the look of it. It feels really good. The only disappointment I have is with the packaging. They need to go more environmental friendly wise too. Because it's paying enough for the product as it is. But if you went more environmental friendly wise, you can then add that as a, as a thing in your box and on the product. That's the only negative thing I've had about this box so far. Other than that, it's bloody heavy. <laughs> okay, welcome back. It's all assembled and it looks good. Um, let's spin this around. Oh. I'll test it out when I'm playing Elite tonight, but it is a little hard I noticed. I'll just try to keep the green screen all the way in there. Might be able to when we hit the floor here though. Um, it's not a bad chair so far, it comes up quite high. It is comfortable. So. I might need a pillow though, the armrest is a bit hard. Um, I've got a headrest that will go into there. And I'll set that up, try to keep it only on the green screen. It's not that easy. Um, Now, so you can see we've got the headset, we put that on, because my head, some of the weird reason it doesn't seem to, I can't get comfortable, like it's not quite to my body, like the back of it's not quite to my body, I lift it up, uh, we'll see how we go, um, I'll get used to it, and I decided to put that onto there as well, so that will give me a bit of lower back and that rest. And it is a little bit hard, that's the only, whoops, it is a little bit hard, that's the only thing I find disappointing about it. Other than that, it's a brilliant little chair, I'm trying just to stay focused on that. So you can catch the green screen properly as well. Um, this is their, well, one of the best chairs they have. Um, I didn't want to spend double than this price on some of the chairs they got. <laughs> Well, I'm quite happy with it. The arms come out a little bit, but that's not uh, neither here nor there. Just a matter of trying to get comfortable in the right spot when I'm playing games. Um, <sighs> I have to admit, the assembly was easy, except heavy. Um, it was easy. Um, but other than that, it's a fantastic, comfortable little chair. I might still need a pillow though. Just, yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll see how we go. If it's too hard, I'll get a pill. If it's not, uh, I won't worry about it. Anyway, my name is Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos, and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now. Leave it on Verity. Mm. Paint jump. We want chrome. I could get link symbols, but I like the Wolves of Jonah symbol. It looks good. Um, I just, I don't know. I find it. I'm, I want to advertise it. We don't have it in our names, but I like to advertise it. It just looks good there.
Go blue, this one. Cool. Go reflected off the chrome nicely. That's it. 